Good afternoon, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, November 7th, and I'm Neha Paramala with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Art 1 students are drawing what they think of this year's presidential election, cartoon style. WTV's Ariella Rodriguez has the story. Perny found Art 1 classes expressing their views on this year's presidential candidates through art. Students are drawing a political cartoon on what they think of both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Okay, so it's really cool because you get to work on your art and talk to the kids at your table about politics and kind of bounce ideas off of each other. The project can serve as a way to broaden students' perspective on the election and help them pay attention to what's going on in politics this year. Um, okay, so it helps me learn more about politics and other people's perspectives and it helps me better understand my perspective um, by working on my art. Um, before, I didn't really pay attention to politics or issues that are going on, but now that I'm working on the project, it's helping me pay more attention and it's forcing me to learn about it. Not only does the project help students better understand politics, but it also helps them improve their techniques in art. Well, it made the students look at the features of each of the political candidates and see the different shapes of their heads and faces, their body shapes, their body language. Um, it just taught them how to look and see the differences and create characters accordingly. For WTV, this is Ariel Rodriguez. Wingspan has been taking a look at the differences between Clinton and Trump in the weeks leading up to the presidential election and why they matter to you. On this last episode, WTV's Parker Butler takes a look at foreign policy and terrorism. On Tuesday, November 8th, one of the two presidential candidates will win not only the presidency, but also become the commander-in-chief of our military. While they share the same goals, both candidates have a very different plan for our foreign policy and for combating terrorism. When it comes to foreign policy, Donald Trump has criticized Hillary Clinton's readiness to combat Russia's involvement in the Syrian civil war, where almost half a million people have died since the war started several years ago. Because he has praised Putin, maybe because he says he agrees with a lot of what Putin wants to do, maybe because he wants to do business in Moscow, I don't know the reasons, but we deserve answers. Wouldn't it be great if we actually got along with Russia? Am I wrong in saying that? Wouldn't it be great? While the geopolitical details regarding conflicts in the Middle East are complex, the general consensus is that Hillary Clinton's plan includes the continued use of airstrikes and training the Iraqi military, while Donald Trump has advocated increases in the military budget in order to use the strength to deter increased conflict. He has shown sympathy for Russia's involvement in Syria and has repeatedly criticized U.S. generals, saying he knows more about ISIS than them. And I did too because I was getting killed in the press as saying I'm not... I know more about ISIS than th the generals do, believe me. Domestic terrorism is another issue that the next president will have to deal with. On Friday, September 17th, a bomb exploded in the Chelsea neighborhood in New York City. Later that night, another bomb was found in nearby New Jersey. In Minnesota, a stabbing incident also occurred that same night. While terrorism is incredibly rare, it has been a hot topic since the September 11th attacks. Hillary Clinton's plan includes taking out ISIS to prevent organized terrorism, working with our allies, and launching an intelligence search to better understand where and when attacks are planned. Donald Trump has advocated less involvement in foreign conflicts in order to lower domestic terrorist attacks. He has proposed a highly controversial and criticized plan of temporarily banning Muslim people from immigrating to the United States, which he has later amended to include only banning Muslims from countries that currently have high levels of terrorism. Secretary Clinton has said that this plan is trafficking in prejudice and paranoia, while Trump says his plan is necessary. Election day is on Tuesday, November 8th, and the results will be determined that night. Reporting for Wingspan TV, I'm Parker Butler. If you're looking for more information on a story or a current news event, follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. Please stay tuned for today's announcements. Tickets are now on sale for Shrek the Musical. Students will not be able to park in the teacher parking lot by the tennis courts anymore until after 2.30 p.m. The entire east side of the school is open for parking. The annual food drive starts today. The school is collecting non-perishable cans of food and packs of ramen noodles through November 18th. Boys soccer tryouts will be held Monday, November 28th until Wednesday, November 30th after school on the turf field. You must see Coach Kaiser in room C112 before school to notify him of your intent to try out. 
That's it for today's daily update. I'm Neha Paramala for WTV.